Hello everyone and happy Halloween. Today is Thursday. It is Halloween today. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful Halloween. Um, I wanted to make this video about diamond painting and this is going to be a little bit more of a chatty video so I apologize for those that don't like chatty videos. Um, you can just fast forward through it or what have you. But I wanted to talk a little bit about diamond painting. Uh, I am new to diamond painting. This is my very first one that I've been working on. And um, I'm going to plug a certain person. And this person has inspired me to try this. I am the type of person that does not like to go outside of my comfort zone. So I usually stick to coloring. Um, for a long time, I stuck to pencils and thought, you know, I had to have the best pencils and the best of everything. And, um, you know, as the years have gone by, I've, my interests have changed and I tend to lean more towards things now that are, um, I guess the easiest way to say it would be fun and not as... It, like I don't have to think so much about what I'm going to do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to plug this person, uh, Ann Siggers, with A Colorful Life. Uh, I have been friends with her for many years. And um, she was actually one of the first people to watch my YouTube channel. Um, and I just... I've, for the last three days, I've been watching all of Anne's diamond painting videos. And they are lengthy. And I really enjoy the lengthy videos of hers. She is an inspirational person. Always positive. Always happy. And Anne, you are the reason that I started doing this. And I just want to thank you for that. And it means the world to me to watch you do this and have so much fun. And then I try it, and I'm having a blast. I love it. Love it. I sit here for hours at a time. And, of course, I get up, I move around, make a drink, play with the dogs, whatever. But I am just having such a good time. And I had no idea that this was so much fun. And I know a lot of people, this is not this is not for them. Um, I, watched, <laughs> I watched Dee Dee, uh, her video where she tried it for the first time. I don't think it's for her. Um, so everybody's different and everybody has their own, um, you know, what they want to do. So I just wanted to thank Anne. And if you, if any of my viewers don't watch Anne, you have to go to her channel. It's a colorful life. She does diamond painting. She does coloring. She's a marker guru. She just is amazing with alcohol markers and can blend them and is just so talented. So please go check Anne out. And Anne, I love you. And this video is definitely for you. Um, so anyway, um, I want to tell you some do's and don'ts of diamond painting, uh, in my opinion. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is when you start a diamond painting, I highly recommend you to get round drills, which are the, the diamonds, the round diamonds. The square ones, all the videos that I've seen, the square ones are very hard to line up on the full drills. Uh, full drill means it goes across the entire page. And they're very hard to line up. And there are some tips and tricks. Um, you can do a checkerboard pattern to make it line up more. Um, I haven't tried that. I do have a dragon uh, diamond painting that I ordered that I didn't know at the time were square drills. So I have that one in there. I'm a little intimidated to start it, but that's okay. Um, that's the first do is make sure you start with a round drill for a beginner. That's my opinion. Um, the other thing I would recommend getting is a, some type of storage container. Now it doesn't have to be expensive. I got a set of these. This came with four of these boxes in a bag and each box has 28 containers. 
these are great to keep your your diamond your drills as they call them great to keep them in um, they're small they snap shut I have not had any problems yet with the tops not working but again I've just started doing this so I'm sure over time the tops are not gonna stay shut but this is a great storage um, a storage option for your drills because some of them come with quite a few colors another thing I would recommend for beginners is to start with start with a diamond painting canvas that doesn't have a million colors um, I goofed on that and like I said being new I didn't know any better so this one that I'm working on has 23 colors and it, it is a little little tedious um, to do 23 colors but if if I had watched some videos prior to just jumping the gun <laughs> I probably would have known that um, anyway so round drills storage container I highly recommend a light board and I have a light board on right now um, it's a Kazante I got it off Amazon for like I think it was like $16 it's great I can sit in here at night a must-have for people that work in the evening if you work during the day you can probably see them just fine um, but me being older and you know the eyesight not being what it used to be highly recommend a light board okay so round drill storage container light board the other thing I recommend oh and all the storage containers um, come with these I had like 10 sheets of these labels so you can label um, you can label your drills when you're done with the the diamond painting you can just peel those off start over with your next project so uh, labels are good and you don't have to get these off Amazon you can get these at the dollar store office max wherever you want to get those okay the other thing I want to tell you um, don't do is each each diamond painting comes with a tray okay this green tray which I already have drills in a pen for you to pick up your diamonds with and then they come with a piece of wax now I did not have instructions <laughs> on this diamond painting so I did not know that the wax had a plastic covering on it so I'm sitting here for like 10 minutes like trying to poke into the wax and it wouldn't go through and I was getting very frustrated and angry and then um, my roommate came in and was like what are you doing because he heard me getting upset what are you doing and I was like I'm trying to get this this darn thing to poke through the wax and I won't do it he was like you got to take the plastic off I'm like oh right so anyway for those of you that are new these come with a, a simple plastic on them that you peel back poke it put the covering back on it now I'm using parchment paper just to keep it covered so that it stays sticky because I pulled the wax off I mean I pulled the paper off the wax so don't do that <laughs> anyway um, okay the other thing that I will tell you not to do well well let me show you this first so watching Anne with a colorful life I went ahead and ordered the Zazazu uh, parchment paper these are five and a half by five and a half pieces of parchment paper and they come in five, a pack of 500 very inexpensive this is a must in my opinion um, because all of your your canvases are gonna come with some kind of covering on them whether it be clear whether it be not clear you know opaque where you can't see the the image which no no don't like that so highly recommend this now what I did I goofed and I'm very OCD so when I started with a drill um, so I think I started with I don't remember which one I started with I think I started with um, some of the orange ones anyway I'm OCD so I wanted to do all the orange ones across the entire image don't do that because now I can't cover up the canvas it, it won't stick because of all of the different you know things I've put now it won't it won't stick to the page so after watching lots of videos and in particular start in one corner 
So go ahead and cover up your whole image with the parchment paper before you start and make sure it's all covered so there's no sticky part. And then just take off the top left. You can work from whichever corner you want. On my next one, I'm gonna work top left and go and work across. So do everything in this this top left section first. And yeah, it's it's not going to stay completely stuck on there after you finish that section, but that's okay. As long as you keep it protected where you're not going to get <clears throat> cat hair, dog hair, you know, people with animals. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, I have been plucking lots of hair off of um, the canvas. But anyway, so that is my recommendation. Cover the whole thing with these pieces of parchment paper first and, and make sure you flatten them out really good. Um, and then just work a section at a time. My recommendation. Y'all do it however you want to do it. I'm not instructing anyone. I'm just giving you what I've experienced and some recommendations, um, just my opinion. So anyway, so this one that I ordered is a um, image of planets and I'm, I'm a huge space person, love planets and I thought this would be a good one to try. Boy, was I wrong. I should have gotten a very simple like eight color uh, one to start off with. But anyway, I'm still having a ton of fun. There's just a lot of colors in this one and it's it's taking me quite a bit of time and I know people that have done diamond painting for a long time they can probably do this quickly because this is only a um, 40 by 30 centimeters so I think that equates to like a 12 by 14 um, I, I think but I got this one off Amazon as well as the dragon uh, they're both the same size uh, Amazon has some really really cool um, diamond paintings uh, so definitely check out Amazon uh, there are some other websites with some more expensive ones and, and I know there are a lot of other YouTubers that I'll tell you to check those out and, and you should absolutely um, I think one of them is Diamond Art Club I think that's a really nice um, uh, provider for diamond paintings and um, I can't remember the other one shoot. Anyway, I'm not going to order those yet. I need to make sure that I'm going to enjoy this before I spend 30 to $60 on a diamond painting. So this one was um, $8. Uh, came with everything I needed for it, minus the storage containers, which I think were $12. The light pad was like 16 The parchment paper, I, I really don't remember, but I can link it below. Um, anyway, nowhere near as expensive as what I spend on coloring things. So that's, that's refreshing. Um, but anyway, so I have this one, the dragon. I ordered three more diamond paintings yesterday. I am a huge fan of sea turtles. They're my favorite animal in the whole world. So I ordered a sea turtle um, diamond painting canvas. I also ordered a partial of a, a cat's face because um, after watching Anne's videos, she highly recommends partials and really enjoys them. So I figured I would give that a try. And I also ordered, because I am a Star Wars freak, I ordered a Stormtrooper diamond painting. And it's not very big. I think it's, um, I think it's a 30 by 40. And it's really cool. It's like the kaleidoscope of colors and the stormtrooper with a black background. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And my plan is anything that I do, I'm uh, the first five that I do, I'm going to actually frame and hang up in my art room. Um, and then after that, I want to do them as gifts and give them to people, um, you know, based on their likes and you know, what they enjoy. So anyway, those are some of my tips to let you know. I'm sure I'll think of more as I go along. But anyway, so I wanted to work on, I'm going to work on, um, let's see, I'm trying to remember the portion that I need to work on. Um, 
I'm working on a, a specific color. So uh, let's see here. We got some up there and some in the middle. I've got a lot in the middle up here. So we're going to work on that. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in um, so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, and like I said, doing it the way that I've done it where I did all of one number across the page isn't really the best way to do it because now it's hard to keep things sticky. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Um, I'd love to hear of people working on um, diamond paintings, what you've, you know, been doing. Um what what you prefer to do I'm going to move this camera up a little bit so you can see it that's as far as I can get in with my camera right now without having to totally reset up my camera so um, anyway yeah I, I would absolutely love to see what you're doing oh okay so I need to put wax on my my little thing so all I do is well you can't see me do it off to the side but you just poke through the wax and you are gonna have I don't know if you can see that you probably can't see that but anyway the wax goes into the hole of the um, of the drill pen so yeah now, I'm very slow with this, so you have to bear with me. I'm not as fast as other people, um, but the point is to have fun. And I always have, have a piece of parchment down to cover my hand as well. So, yeah. But I have just been having such a good time doing this. Now, you're going to have extra wax in the beginning when you do this. I always have to wipe. Um, excess wax off but that's okay um, yeah so I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing but you know I'm trying this isn't really a good angle either for what I'm doing I'm trying to think of how I can show you guys this in a better format I'll have to just move my camera around because I have it set up for coloring so but yeah you just pick up your drill it's easy to pick it up and then you just put it on the corresponding number um, these trays are really neat. Um, all you have to do is shake the tray and they tend to land face up the way they're supposed to, the way you're supposed to grab them. You want the bottom of the drill, obviously, you know, the flat part of the drill to be on the bottom. Um, and you're, you're going to pick it up on the top part of the drill. So, yeah. So anyway, this is what I have been doing for the last, like, Oh, see, now there's extra wax right there. I just, I just wipe it off. Whatevs. But I've been doing this for like the last three days. And I've just been having a ball. Highly recommend. If anybody's thinking about trying diamond painting, I definitely... Whoops, see, no, hold on. I just dropped one. No, no. And it's going to happen. You're going to spill these things all over the place. It's just inevitable. I did it last night and it was, it was a lot of fun trying to, trying to pick everything up. Uh. But you can use your fingers, um, to pick them up because your fingers have, have oil on them. You can just, you know, put your finger down and pick up a whole bunch of them and throw them back in the tray. No big deal. But I like this, um, this craft of diamond painting because A... Your colors are picked out for you. I don't have to sit there and think, okay, what colors am I going to put on a page, like a coloring page? I don't have to sit there and figure that out. It's already figured out for you. Um, that's the really nice part about diamond painting. Um, yeah, see, I'm trying to keep <laughs> the parchment paper on. Because I've already done drills down here, it won't, it won't stay put. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, the colors are already picked out for you, and it's just, it's super relaxing. I usually have um, a video going in the background, or I've got my um, A-L-E-X-A playing in the background with music, 
Um, you know, I know Anne with a colorful life, she listens to audiobooks. That's a, another great option to do while doing this. Um, so yeah, there are all kinds of things you can do while you're sitting here doing it. You can watch TV while you're doing this. I don't know how well I could watch TV, but since I'm really focused on what I'm doing at the time, but, um, I know people that, that do. So anyway, but I'm, I'm really having a good time with it. And again, brand new to this. And I know people, please in the comments below, give me some suggestions. Tell me if you think I'm doing it incorrectly. Um, whatever. <laughs> I also want to thank Jess Robertson, Jessica Robertson, because she was actually the first one I watched do a diamond painting. She did like an ocean themed, I think it was seashells, uh, diamond painting. And I watched that probably about a month ago. And a lot of you don't know, um, that maybe are new to the channel. I, I took a pretty long hiatus from art. Uh, it was, gosh, it was about a year. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. I honestly, I got burnout and, um, I watched a video that Anne did back in April and she just nailed, nailed it on the head. I mean, I got burnt out. I was trying to quote unquote, keep up with the Joneses with, you know, getting all the, the new expensive coloring books the materials and it just, it got overwhelming and I have so many things that are sitting in my art room that I haven't touched and I don't know if I will and I'll probably be donating them to uh, homes just because I, I just don't see myself doing all of them and if people if people in the community would enjoy them I would much rather them have it than it sit here on my on my bookshelf and to be honest with you I mean this is diamond painting is so relaxing to me I'm probably going to be doing this more than I am coloring uh, don't get me wrong I'm still going to color because I am still playing with markers and I know I have that dragon um, the dragon uh, page that I'm working on that I did some of it on a recording I think it was a couple days ago I need to finish that one and I'll I might finish that one on on camera um, I am having fun with markers you know learning about alcohol markers uh, I haven't gotten the blending quite down yet I've been watching some videos and I've been playing with it on on scrap paper but um, yeah still still learning that um, but yeah I'm just gonna do I'm always I've always been the type of person unfortunately and you know <laughs> My husband and my roommate have said the same thing. You always do things for other people. You need to do things for you. Um, you need to, you know, just take a break. Do do something for yourself that you actually enjoy and that you're not doing just because you think other people will like it. Um, which is what I did for a long time, to be really honest with you. Um I, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to do what I enjoy doing because if you don't enjoy doing it, what, what is the point? You know, you, you shouldn't do it. Um, and I've finally come to the realization that, you know, that's, that's dumb. <laughs> that's dumb. I need to do things for me. So just shake it, get them back down. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing for me, and I'm having a great time, and I so look forward to getting up, having a coffee, getting a shower, doing my housework, and then sitting down and actually enjoying myself. Like, I actually look forward to it, where sometimes with coloring, um, I'll look forward to it depending on what it is. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. 
Um, but then I, I stress quite a bit about, okay, what, what am I going to color? What, what page am I going to color? What colors am I going to use that are going to look good? What if I mess up? You know, and then unfortunately my anxiety kicks in a little bit because <clears throat> I've been so worried about, uh, what other people think of my coloring and I shouldn't think that way. I mean, I've had, I've had people that have stuck with me on this channel for years and I love every single one of you for that. And I know there are things on this channel that people don't, don't care for. It's not their cup of tea and that's fine. I mean, everybody's different. You can always, you know, watch more than just one person. And I watch a bunch of people. Um, and with the diamond painting, I've been watching a lot of new people and it's, it's actually really cool to see um, different aspects of, of how people do things, uh, coloring wise and diamond painting wise, markers, I mean, just all kinds of, of things. I've met lots of people on, lots of new people on live streams. Um, I'm still debating on live streaming. I'm, I'm really up in the air about it because I'm, I feel the same way a lot of YouTubers do that live streaming is very um for me it's very stressful because you have to let me keep moving this hold on um because i feel like i have to always be paying attention to chat and if i'm paying attention to chat i'm not paying attention to what i'm doing and that that just gets a little stressful to me so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do that um, I thought about it talked to a couple people about it the one nice thing about live streaming is you do it and it automatically will upload to YouTube without me having to uh, sit there and wait for it to upload and then edit I've got this editing software that's really cool now but it, it takes a lot of time um, and you really have to devote time to being a YouTube um, to have a YouTube channel and like I said I've had my channel for gosh I think three three years something like that so and it's not something that happens overnight um, I know I watched I watched a video one of Anne's videos and she, she explained the same thing, you know, I mean, it takes, it takes a lot of work to get to where, especially where she is. She's, she puts out content constantly, which is awesome. I just, I can't do it like that every day. Um, I, I just, I just can't do it. Uh, and a lot of times I just want to come in here and just sit and do my own thing and not, and not record anything. Um, but there are times where I want to sit and I want to talk to you guys. So today is one of those days. And with it being Halloween, um, I thought this would be a nice treat <laughs> to put some time to the side and just sit here and, and do this. So that's, that's what I'm doing. So unfortunately, we are supposed to be getting some really bad weather. Uh, later tonight, I mean, they're, they're calling for tornadoes. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not real happy about that, but you know, it's all good. Everything will be fine. Okay. So let's see, where else do we have number fours? Okay. So I need to move this over. We have lots of number fours over here. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I can't tell you how much <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I was very put off with diamond painting for a long time. Like I said, I watched, I watched Jess do it, Jessica. And I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to have the patience to sit there with these tiny little tiny little diamonds 
and do that. There's just no way. Because I'm very, uh, what's the word? Well, I'm very OCD for one, and apparently this is great for OCD, and it is so far. Um, but I'm also, I can't sit still very long. I have to get up. I have to move around. Oh, I missed something over here. Um, like when I watch TV, I cannot watch anything more than like an hour before I just start getting, you know, ants in the pants. I just, I have to get up. I have to do something. This, this to me is like fishing. I can sit on a dock and fish for hours. My mom thinks it's just crazy how I'm such a hyperactive person, but yet I can sit and fish quietly for hours and not get up because it's enjoyable. You're just sitting there on the dock. You've got the water, you know, the breeze. It's just, it's very therapeutic. And this is the same way for me. This is, this diamond painting is so therapeutic because you are focusing on one thing, um, watch, I'm going to tip this whole tray over again. You watch me. Um, it's so you're just focusing on one thing. It is repetitive, but I like repetition. Repetition to me is a calming effect. And, um, it just, that's, that's me. So anyway, Wanted to, to show you guys that are thinking about doing this or are new to diamond painting. You should definitely try it, but like I said, you should not try it the way <laughs> the way I tried it. Definitely get um you know round drills, which these are, but get round drills, um I haven't done a partial, like I said. I've, I've got one coming to me. Um, so that a partial is a good a good way to start out, um, according to some people that I've watched. So you can start with a partial and pick something that interests you. Don't don't pick something that doesn't interest you. So if you you know if you like cats find one that's of a cat. I would say look at the reviews, look at um, what people say about them. Um, try to avoid the ones that have symbols. Symbols are very confusing to me and I, I like sticking with the ones that just have letters and numbers. That's another another tip that I learned from Miss Ann. Um, and after looking at some of the canvases, uh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Look at that. Um, after looking at some of the canvases with symbols, I was like, mm, no. Thanks, but no thanks. No one's got time for that. <laughs> so, And I'm sure this image um, is going to turn out kind of pixelated. I've heard that you should get... Um, larger canvases because they don't show up as being, you know, really pixelated. This one's probably going to be pixelated because there's a lot going on on the uh, canvas and a lot of colors. So that was probably a mistake, but I liked the image and, you know, figured I'd try it. And it's good for, you know, my first time doing. So, but yeah, definitely having a good time with it. And um, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups now for diamond painting. It is amazing some of the people that uh, do these, like, the size canvases. Um, there's one lady... Um, I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants me to say her name, but, um, one lady is doing like 110 by, by something like 110 by like 55, I think it's just, it's massive. 
massive. And just looking at that, it, it makes me kind of get the twitches a little bit, but um, it's what she enjoys. And the ones she showed pictures of some of the ones she's done, they are gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, I mean, just captivating is a good word. Captivating. I did. I sat there and zoomed in on the, the image that she posted and just looked at all of the different details and colors. And I can just imagine how long that took her to do. Okay. So I'm looking for more. Oh, there's one. I missed one up here. Okay. The good thing too about this is if you put a diamond down and it's not in exactly the right space, um, the way the sticky part is on the page, you can move it. Or you can take tweezers and pick it up uh, and put it back down where you want it. But you definitely are going to have to have tweezers to get these off. I can tell you that. Don't use your fingernails because that doesn't work. Believe me, I know. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just looking for number fours because I know I'm gonna miss them, and I'm I'm sure they're gonna be all kinds of spots that I miss, and that's okay though because you can just go back to your diamonds that you have in you know your drills you have in your storage case and just do them again. Okay. So, I'm just, I'm looking, looking, so yeah, I, I really wish I had started to do this, oops, I hope you didn't see my head, I, I wish I had started to do this sooner, okay, I'm going to pull this out, I'm going to zoom back out so that you all can see the whole thing with it off. Okay. Um, thanks. Hold on. Gotta move the light pad. I do have a stand coming for my light pad. Um, I looked at a lot of different easels and I don't know if I wanted a wood, a wood um, you know, writing desk easel that can move in different positions. I, I just, it just didn't appeal to me. So I got a, basically a mesh one, uh, that has a really firm stand. Um, but it's not wood and it wasn't, you know, a pajillion dollars because the wood ones are very expensive because they're solid wood. Um, Okay, so I think I've got all of number four done, I think. I don't see any more number fours. And you know what? If I do, that's okay. Okay, so I've got my number four labeled. Just going to pour these back in. Got to be careful pouring them because they're going to go everywhere. Okay. Yep. Went everywhere. Okay. So the next color I'm going to do, I need to work on a lot of this blue down here. And there's a lot of, let's see, there are a lot of J's, a lot of S's, A's, N's. All right. Let's go with J. And then over here on the right, I know you can't see it because the light pad's on, but you have your have your symbols. So let's see, J. All right, J is 22. So we're gonna pull out 22. Okay, 22. So I have all of these colors in these little baggies. They're all numbered. Let's find. 22, there we go, okay, 22, so I'll, I will show you how I do this, 
So I take each one of the bags has a small perforation in the middle. Um, you can try to break it down the perforation. I did not have good luck with that. So I'm just using some crafting scissors and just cut straight down the perforation. Okay. And then we're going to label our, our uh, container. I'm going to mark this as J. I just use a permanent marker. You can use whatever you like. We're going to put J on the top of this container. All right. So now I'm going to get my crafting scissors again. I'm going to cut a small corner off the side. Just a very small. I just cut right there across the corner. You don't want to have a huge opening because they're going to go everywhere. Oh, I guess it would help if I opened the top. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put some in the tray. Oh, okay. And this is really cool because when you shake the tray, most of them will land face up. Gravity, gravity. Okay, and then pour the rest of them into the container. And technically, I should probably have done all of these in the beginning, but you know. First time, first time. All right, so I'm gonna try to just cover these back up. We're gonna work on the on the bottom down here for a little bit. But I think it's a pretty cool image. Some cool planets. Yeah, I'm just gonna work on I'll do this middle section here, down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back in. Okay, let me redo, redo my camera. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I also have a wrist pad. A wrist pad is a great thing to have while you're doing this. It helps um, people with carpal tunnel or, you know, that have wrist issues. It's a good, good thing to have. So, okay. So here we go with the J's. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much um, what I wanted to tell everyone is that I'm having a great time doing this and highly recommend it for those that would like to try something different um, highly recommend it sorry my computer's needing to breathe oh boy this laptop I love this laptop I got a new laptop it's a gaming laptop but man it needs air <laughs> And it's loud. I don't know why it needs air when I'm just doing this, but you know, it's what it is. So yeah. But I have just been having a ball doing this. Uh, the cool thing was my husband came home yesterday and he showed me pictures of diamond paintings that his coworker has done. And apparently there was one of them hanging in his office and he had never noticed that that's what it was. So he took a picture of it and came home and showed it to me. I thought that was really neat. Um, actually, it was the owl that Anne did, the partial. Um, she did a stream uh, and did, did an owl. So it, it was the same exact one. That was really, I was like, oh my gosh, I've seen that one. That one's so pretty. I don't know how I feel about doing the parcels with the really, with the bigger size gems. Um, I don't know about that yet. I kind of want to just stick to 
the smaller the smaller ones right now at least for the first couple of ones I think um, but I am not gonna go crazy and order a bunch of these <laughs> as much as I want to oh my goodness I stayed up no joke I stayed up until 4 a.m. two nights ago just looking at diamond paintings like different canvases you can get um, Wow <laughs> there are so many different ones you can get it's insane I was like oh these look really cool and you know should I get them I don't know what should I do so I didn't I, I refrained I refrained all right, can y'all still see kind of what I'm doing? Oh, let me take the autofocus off. Right, I usually take that off. Um, yeah. But yeah, the light pad's good to have. Um, and it came with clips and a little crappy stand. I didn't like the stand that it came on because it wasn't very sturdy. That's a good word, sturdy. Um, and I, I prefer just having it lay flat, to be honest with you. And with this light board, I mean, you can definitely see, I can see what I'm doing. So, yes. Yes. Now I forgot what I was saying. Was I saying something earlier? I don't remember. I don't know if I was talking about something. Because, you know, y'all can, can respond and tell me. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, so is anybody doing anything different for Halloween this year? Different than what they normally do? We are not doing a darn thing. We are having leftover spaghetti from last night. And probably going to watch some Halloween, maybe watch a Halloween movie, uh, depending on the weather. And if not, um, if we lose power, which, you know, pretty good possibility we'll lose power. Because if the wind blows the wrong way here, we lose power. <laughs> uh, I will be on my Kindle already got it charged got books on it I'm reading a really good book um, by Stephen King right now um, of course I can't remember the name of it I think it's called the outsider it's one of his newer books I think it's been out for a year or so but uh, I'm a huge Stephen King fan and love his books so yeah, I'm reading that one right now on my Kindle. Uh, the bad thing with me reading uh, is I, I get in bed at night and read. And I usually don't go to bed till really late because I'm, I'm a late night person. And so I get in bed at like, you know, it could be 1.30, it could be 2.30, whatever. Um, I play my uh, Candy Crush. <laughs> I, pay, I play Candy Crush Soda. I've been playing it for uh, years. And it's what I do to make me sleepy. That's pretty much the only thing that makes me sleepy is Candy Crush. <laughs> so that's what I do. Um, so the nights that I want to read, I'll, I'll do my Candy Crush for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll start reading. Well, the problem is with me and reading, especially if it's a good book. I am going to keep reading until I just can't keep my eyes open anymore. And that's what's been happening with this book. I've been staying up too late. I think one night I didn't go to bed till like 6 a.m., which it, it sucks because that ruins your day because then you don't get up until like noon and half your day is gone. It's like, oh gosh, it just, 
it's not a good feeling. So even if I go to bed at 1, 2 a.m., I still set my alarm for like, you know, 9 a.m., 9.30, get up, you know, start my day. Uh, so when you sleep until noon, it's like, ugh. you just don't feel, you don't feel like you've accomplished anything. <laughs> you feel lazy. I guess that's the best word. You feel lazy. Um, I don't, I don't like feeling lazy. And don't get me wrong. There, there are certain days where, you know, you want to feel lazy and just sit in your PJs and do nothing. Watch TV, eat popcorn, whatever. Um, everybody's had those days and that's fine. But not every day. <laughs> Too many other things going on. Especially with the holidays coming up. Woo, it's going to be busy. Busy, busy, busy. And we're already starting to plan... See, now there's one that I need to move. Let me push it a little bit. There we go. Already starting to plan our trip to Ireland, which is going to be amazing, in June. So we're going to be in Ireland for two straight weeks. But yeah. I think I said on an earlier video, I'm kind of nervous about that, leaving my babies here for that long but um, my roommate who actually he's getting an apartment um, gosh he moves in in like two weeks uh, he's gonna come and stay with with the babies the puppies and the kitty he'll actually stay here while we're gone so that makes me feel better since you know it's somebody they know um, he doesn't have to like, you know, come over, let him out, leave him, come back. They just don't do well when they're a when they're by them by themselves, or b if they're with people they don't know. And it took a long time for Blue especially to warm up to my roommate. Uh, he was very jealous of him in the beginning and wouldn't, wouldn't give him the time of day. Um, cause he's definitely, definitely mama's boy. Um, Bella loves everybody. So she was just like, Hey, yeah, you give me, give me attention. Then I'm, I'm happy, you know? Uh, but blue is very, very selective and he's not a fan normally of men. He likes females. Um, that's just, that's just how he is. So, yeah. But yeah, in the beginning, he, he wasn't, um, oh, there's all this in the middle I missed. Goodness. See, I get to talking and I don't, I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be right there when you get back. Because there's an empty space on the page. So yeah, he, Blue especially, doesn't do well in a boarding facility. Um, I've tried many times to put them in, you know, boarding places. Like really nice high-end boarding places. Uh, thinking that, you know, if you pay for really nice high-end boarding place, it'll be better for the dogs. Not true. Not true at all. Uh, he was a wreck when we came back from our trip. When we went to when we went to the Bahamas for I think it was two weeks. Ooh. Uh, we left home, Ambella, at a high end place here where I live. Just a wreck. Was losing hair and was sick. Wouldn't eat. Just. It broke my heart, broke my heart to see him like that. And he holds a grudge. He's the only dog I know that holds a grudge. He's he just remembers everything. <laughs> like he remembers everything. So, um, I just don't want to do that to them again. 
Um, even Bella was stressed out, and Bella is pretty carefree about a lot of things. Um, but they're older. Bella's completely blind now, so we have to help her when you know when she goes outside and um, you know make sure she's not running into things. But I mean, we took her to the vet. She's the vet said it's just part of old age. She's she doesn't she's not in pain or anything. It's just you know you lose your eyesight, same as any of us when we get older. And now Blue has lost a lot of his hearing, so he can't hear very well. And I know somebody's going to ask me. Um, so Blue is twelve. He turned 12 in February, and Bella is probably 14. We rescued her from a shelter. Um, so I don't really know her specific age, but that's the best guess. So, yeah. So it'll be nice that we don't have to board them when we go on our trip. That'll be great. Um, I think it'll be much easier for them because I don't have any kids and my animals are my kids. And that's, that's how it is. So yeah, this is gonna be kind of a lengthy video um, for those of you that don't like lengthy videos. You don't have to watch it. You can watch something else or just fast forward it or whatever you like. Okay, so now we're going to move it down some, work on these up here, got some way up here, so let me move the whole thing, going to move the light board, oh, careful now, <laughs> okay. So yeah, what was I saying? Um, dogs, yeah, doggies. And the cat will be happy. She's got to have a bed to sleep on at night next to someone. That's how she is. And normally it's me because she's a mama's girl as well. Um, but I, I really think the only reason that is is because I'm home, you know, where my husband works all day. And I'm home, and I'm the one that feeds them and, you know, plays with them, brushes them, cleans them, uh, you know, just actual spends time with them. So that's probably why, why it's like that. But yeah, she does. She snuggles right up next to me at night and just purrs and purrs. I don't know what it is for those of you that have cats. Tell me if, if you're the same way, but it's so relaxing to hear a cat sleeping like right up next to you with, with their, just that purr, just their happy purr sound. It's so, it's so relaxing. It just makes me smile to know that she's happy and she's comfortable and it makes me comfortable, you know. It always makes you feel good about yourself when when you do good for other other people, for animals. It just puts a smile on my face. And again, I'm I'm a giver, so I'll do anything for anybody. Uh, I'm probably over trusting with people. But my motto is, you know, I'm going to trust you until you give me a reason not to. Because I think that's how it should be, um, especially with society these days. Um, things have changed so much since, since I was younger. Um, but I'm going to try to keep the same mindset. Okay, so now I need more wax. Wax, wax. I'm going to sit here and wax real quick. All right, does, does anybody have questions? 
Um, comments. I mean, please tell me below. Uh, tips and tricks. Whatever you think would be helpful. I would appreciate it. But again, like I said, I'm I'm going really slow with this, and it's what I enjoy, what I want to do. I'm not gonna rush something. I, I don't want to rush anything that that I work on. You know, that's no fun. No rush. No rush. There you go. But yeah, I'm just amazed at what a fun inexpensive hobby this is and you can frame these at the end and you don't have to get the expensive frames um i know a lot of people have, have said the same thing in their videos but honestly i'm gonna order like the plastic acrylic frames off amazon i i had um my husband framed our star wars posters with them and they were so cheap you just, you get the frame, you put the poster in it, you're done. So I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm not going to get a real expensive frame. Unless it's something that I'm going to hang, like, in the main <clears throat> main section of my house, where it's going to be seen by a lot of people. Then I might consider getting a nicer frame. But for my art room, for the bedrooms, what else? You know, just something to get it up on the wall. No big deal, right? Okay, so now we're going to go way over. So let me move this. Okay. So now you can see all this over here. Oh, I missed a few up here. Hold on. See, this is where my OCD kicks in. Like, if I see one on the other side of the page, I have to put it down. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me and my OCD. Okay. Oh, look. Like, there's one way down here. You guys can't see this, but there's just one little dot. Okay. So, yeah. This is what I'm doing today. It might be kind of boring. I don't know. Is this boring to watch people do this? I have no idea. It could be, I guess. I I enjoy watching people do it. And I also, <clears throat> like, I love putting on, like, for example, Anne with A Colorful Life. I love putting on her, you know, hour to two hour long videos while I do this and just listen to her talk. And I'll look up and see what she's doing and you know, see how her diamond painting or her coloring is turning out. But I really like, uh, when I'm working on something, I like the longer videos. And that's me. Because that way I don't have to stop, keep, you know, changing or looking for other videos. Um, so I like watching a lot of the people that I follow that do, like, live streams, like Dee Dee. I'll sit there and watch Dee Dee while I do this. Um, I'm not normally awake a lot of times for DD stream, um, the first part of it anyway. So if I am awake and I'm not busy, I'll, I'll hop into her live stream. Um, but she's another great one to watch while you're crafting because she has, uh, three plus hour, uh, videos. And it's always fun to watch, watch what she does. She's amazing. Love her. Love you, Dee Dee. Um, yeah. So this is going to be my day today. And I think I've probably recorded a long enough video of this. But yeah, so let me zoom back out so you guys can see. Um, get rid of this. Do, 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 do. I thought I saw a diamond go flying. I could be wrong, but I thought I did. Sorry, right, I'll find it because it'll stick to the page. So anyway, 
So this is the planets. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. And then I'll work on a dragon next. So I hope all of you have a wonderful, happy Halloween and a safe one. Please be safe. And look, I'm wearing, wearing my orange today with my orange fingernails. So everyone have a wonderful Halloween and try the diamond painting. If you haven't done it, try it. Love it. Please comment below. Tips, tricks, suggestions. Just be gentle with me. I'm new. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a lovely, lovely afternoon and evening. Talk to you soon.